y'all I'm Deborah. welcome back to my channel um, I have today my August update for my project uh, flower pan instead of flower pot is flower pan um, so this project is based on um, flowers and their meanings or some description um, of that flower so I am gonna start with and, I'm, and my goal is to just to, to pan as many plants as I can. There's no um, time limit on it, just as long as I feel like it, as long as I have flowers uh, to pan, which people who know me know I will probably not run out of flowers. Um, so I'll start with um, the ones that we started with last month. Um, azalea, and the meaning of azalea is abundance. So something that I have too much of in my collection. Um, Really, I have too many lip products, but um, I've already got a boatload of lip products in projects. So the next, um, gosh, I'm itching. The next big um, category is sunscreen, because I am a sunscreen crazy person. Um, so I rolled in this Bondi Sands Face SPF 50. It is fragrance-free, reef-free, suitable for sensitive skin. Um, it is a chemical sunscreen, so some people with sensitive skin may, be, may not actually be able to tolerate this. Um, I, I have really sensitive skin. I don't have a problem with it at all. Um, it is cruelty-free, um, made with recycled materials. You can just feel very morally superior. Not really. It's sunscreen. Um, so my goal is to bring this into finish. So last month I was at the big nail polish mark there. This month I am right here. Um, I used this one 15 times this month and it is down by 22.24 grams. So this one, I don't know if that one will be done by next month or not. Um, if not next month, then definitely the one after that sometime. Um, mid-October probably or mid-September all right the second um, flower were at was asters um, asters are native there's I think there are some that are native to Europe but there are native asters here in North America um, and they stand for daintiness and so the prompt that I made for that one was a fragile product I rolled in my love trust and fairy dust palette which I dropped at my when we were in Richmond for my daughter's graduation from law school yay um, an insufferably proud mom anyway I dropped it on the um, the tile floor at the Airbnb and all of these shadows literally popped out they're magnetic palettes and they popped out so I have several um, shades in here that were kind of broken and repressed and um, anyway, I had brought this in here for 10 uses. I have used it 10 times, and in the process, I actually hit pan on this, this poor shade over here that was one of the broken shades. So, um, so even though it was broken, it's still a pan, and I did work on it to, ex to expand that pan, so I'm, I'm happy with the progress that I made in those 10 uses with this one. I like the Tarte formulas. They are, um, some people think they're kind of hit and miss, but I like my neutrals, so I, I don't mind if they're not right, you know, right in everybody's face to start with. So that is the goal met. That one will be rolling out. In fact, I'll put that back right now. All right, the third one was for gardenia. A secret love is a gardenia. I love gardenias. Um, I have three different kinds of gardenias in my yard. Um, I have some great big ones that just, in the humid weather, they smell. You can smell them across the yard. Um, I just, I love them. Um, ma makes me think about home and my dad. Makes me think, reminds me of my daddy. Um, so for my guilty pleasure, I brought in my Chanel perfume, which I probably should not have bought when I bought it, but it made me happy. Um, and um, I really enjoy the number five 
fragrance. This is the Eau Premier Flanker. It is an updated version of number five. It's not, it still has the Chanel aldehydes underneath where you, it still smells, you can still recognize it as Chanel number five, but it's not so heavy. Um, it does have really good staying power, does not take a lot. This is definitely not um, a fragrance that I'm going to be panning to completion um, at probably at any point in my life. Um, but I brought it in for 20 uses, and in July I have used it four times. So it's going to be staying there in for a while. All right, for the next one was Valerian. Um, and Valerian stands for readiness. It is, and I put something I'm ready to get out of my collection. And I brought in the Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. Um, the mascara is not bad, but I really prefer tubing mascaras, and I would like to get this one. This is the one I bought when I was out of town and um, needed something quick. Um, but I really prefer tubing mascaras. They're a lot easier on my eyelashes. Um, so I'm, I'm having this one in here to finish so that I can get back to the mascaras that I prefer. Um, yeah. So this one is started out at 21.65 grams. I have used it 29 times since I rolled it in, and it is down almost a gram. So we'll take that. We'll take that progress. All right, for yarrow, I was looking for something that yarrow has healing properties. It's it's um, been used in um, herbal medicine. Native American populations have used it. Colonial um, colonial Americans used it for soothing properties and so I was bringing something in that has healing properties and I brought in an, a, another sunscreen because I had brought in a chemical sunscreen so I brought in a physical sunscreen this one is from Elta MD it is the tinted version of UV elements SPF 44 um, it has hyaluronic acid it has um, the sunscreen in it is zinc oxide, anti-titanium dioxide. It has um, iron oxides for the tint. Um, I have been wearing this under my foundation. My foundation that I'm panning is a little light. This oxidizes so much on me that I'm not comfortable wearing it without something else over the top of it. Um, it does lay very nicely underneath makeup, underneath other foundation, so I don't have a problem wearing it that way. It, it, it's fine. Um, I like the way it is very soothing. It is specifically formulated for sensitive and post-procedure skin. So post laser peel, chemical peel, microneedling, whatever you want to do. Um, I have used this one nine times. I have not, I'm using the other one up faster than this one. Um, but I have used it nine times and it is down um, 7.5 grams. So I am, I am really happy with that. Um, I think there is, it's down to about here, but I think there's a big bubble in there. And I'm trying to, to get it to burp out. It has this little pump, I love that. I like that better than the squeezy bottles than the other one. Okay, so that is, those are the five. So I have one rolling out. So I can have one rolling in. So for that, let's see here. I have got my spin the wheel app. And here we go. Ooh, Elysium. Let's see what that one is. Elysium, Elysium. Ah, 
something. Elysium is known to repel negative emotions. Also, the Victorians um, had the, the phrase worth without beauty, so something that um, is beautiful on the inside. So for that one, I have a prompt of something that makes you happy. I'm going to think about that for a minute, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, so, Elysium, something that makes me happy. Um, I had to think about this one for a minute because um, what really makes me happy is lipstick, but I've got six lipsticks in projects right now, and so bringing in another lipstick would not be helpful. And my favorite um, perfume is already in here, so that would is my second favorite. So I decided to bring in an eyeshadow, and I will, I may, re, I may regret this, guys, but probably not. Um, I love my Modern Renaissance palette. I really do. I have fan, five pans in this palette, and so I want to bring in another um, shadow from this palette um, to hit pan on. And I want to bring in this shade, Buon Fresco. This, um, it's hard to see in here, but it's kind of a, uh, dusty mauve color. Um, it's a really nice uh, transition shade to wear with some of the reds in here, um, but it also, uh, darkening it up with this uh, cypress umber is also nice. So that would give me, I want to hit pan in this one, but um, also may expand the pan down here in Venetian red or hit pan on Love Letter just as a default because the rest of this palette is going to get used. Um, and that'll make me happy. And that's Elysium, something that makes me happy. All right, guys, so that is my flower pan update. If you want to join in with this one, give me a message down below. I'll have the link to the Google document with all of the um, prompts and pictures of the flowers and then you can decide um, to join. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.